Today I'm going to show you how you can change the header names in Power Query and also how to fix an issue where your, your table has header names that can change over time because when you go to refresh data in Power Query that can sometimes trigger an error message when Power Query can't find a previous header name. So in front of me I've got data that I downloaded from the data.gov website that shows the city of New York spending over the past few years. And so I'm going to start by importing this data into Power Query. So I go to the Data tab, hit From Sheet, and there's an option that says My Table Has Headers, and it's checked off. It, and if I leave that checked off, then it's going to use this first row as the headers. If I were to uncheck it, then it's just, just going to use a generic column 1, column 2, column 3, and so on. So I'm going to leave that checked and hit OK. And now you'll see that first row now is, is appearing as, as the header for each one of those columns. So if I just want to change the date, I can change this publication date header to just be called date. And I'm going to close and load and just create that table table in here. So this is, this is the after, this is the before. So this is the table that I'm importing into Power Query. But let's say my, my table changed. Instead of publication date, now it says date. Now if I were to go to the data tab and hit refresh, now the query is going to give me an error saying publication date wasn't found because that was the header that was there before. And I'll show you why that's causing an error. If I right click on this and go to edit, you'll notice there's there's actually two places that this is this is a problem. The first one is in this renamed column step because when I when I made that change in Power Query, you know, it was looking for that header called publication date to change it to date. So it's not referencing a, a certain cell location or a column location, it's actually hard coding that step. So if I were to change this just to date, then that would fix it, but then it'd be redundant because I'm changing date to date. So I'm gonna just get rid of that step here. But the other issue though is Anytime you import uh, a table into Power Query, it's automatically applying this changed type step. And what that's doing is Power Query is going through each column and trying to determine the data type of each, each column. So again, it's looking for a publication date, which is hard coded. So I need to get rid of that, change it back to just a date, and now it's fine. So anytime you're dealing with uh, a data set that can change the headers, the, the change type step might cause an issue for you. So you're, you're gonna have one or two options. One, you can change um, the formula in here like I did right now, or you can just get rid of it altogether. Because unless, you're, unless your data needs to be an exact same, an exact, in a certain format, then you probably don't need this step anyway. Because you can always do this manually. Like unless you're doing certain calculations, or there's certain columns that absolutely have to be in a, in a certain format, then odds are you can probably do without this. So I'm just going to remove this step entirely just so it's gone. So so change, changing the name is, is fairly easy in, in Power Query. You can just double click on here and change it. But the problem becomes if your underlying data changes and the tables themselves are have different headers. And so that's what I'm going to show you next here. So if you've got that situation, then what you're going to want to do is use uh, use column one, column two, column three, that as your headers, because, because that's not going to change. And it's going to ignore what your data set has as the headers. So to do that, if you go to the Transform tab, there's an option here, if I click on this, to use headers as first row or use first row as headers. So I'm going to show you both and, and what they mean. So if I if I say use headers as first row, what I'm doing is effectively pushing this, pushing these headers down into the first row. And what that's gonna replace them with is those generic column names. If I wanted to undo that step and say, hey, I wanna use a row one as my headers instead of these generic names, then I select the first option, use first row as headers, right? But in this situation where my, where my headers are changing, I don't wanna do that. I wanna use the headers as the first row. And so now what I can do is manually make these changes myself. Change it to date, change this one to 
this school year. And then, the, and when I'm doing it this way, it really doesn't matter because column one, column two, column three, they are not gonna, they're not gonna change. Now, what I could also do is, you know, just modify this formula right in here. I don't actually have to double click and change every time. I can just do, you know, open um, brackets and say column four, change this to agency name, close, put a comma and again, change column five. So it says all funds, close and open another one, say column six, that's gonna be city fund, close and let's create the last one for column seven, which is gonna be remark. And then I'm gonna do is expand this just to make sure that all of these are closed. It looks like they are. So then I'm just gonna swap back and forth just to make sure they're good. And so the one thing, I've got these change type, which again, automatically get generated. So I'm just gonna remove these just because I don't want these to be causing any issues. Cause again, it excels or Power Query's automatically done this when I did the, the promotion of the headers. And so I don't want those in there. Um, I mean, you can keep these in if you're using these generic columns, but I'm just gonna remove them just for the sake of not running into those issues. So, so I've gone through that. Uh, I don't need the step of promoting headers because anytime you make any of these changes, you know, Power Query is automatically going to, to do that for, to basically save those steps. And I don't need all those steps. I just needed the source data, the mole my headers, and then rename them. So that's all I needed. Now, the one obvious issue here is I still have this first row showing those old header names, which obviously I don't need. So to get around that, what I can do is go to the Home tab, and this time use the Remove Rows option. I'll click on this, Remove Top Rows. And now it's gonna ask me how many rows from the top that I wanna delete. And in this case, I just want the first row to be deleted. I'm gonna hit OK and now that's gone. So now this should work well. So I'm gonna hit close and load. And now my table's, table's updated. And if I go back in here, and let's say I change this to just, you know, something not even close to the same, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Not even close to what I had before, but if I hit refresh all, you know, it doesn't look like it's caused any errors just to make sure you can check there that it's loading. So by doing that, even though my, my column names here are completely different and don't match up, it doesn't, doesn't matter because ultimately these column headers, although they're, they're being used initially, they're being demoted and then deleted. So it doesn't matter. So if I go back to the edit section one more time here and show you that, we can go through these steps and say, okay, so even though my source is showing A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, you know, these headers are being demoted. I'm renaming those columns because again, column one through seven, they're not gonna change. And then remove those top rows. So every time you run a Power Query, it's gonna go through each, the, each of these steps that you've saved along the way. So that's why this is the best way to deal with these, these sort of dynamic and changing headers because Ultimately, this line, become, this row becomes irrelevant. Whatever I type in here, it doesn't matter because Power Query has taken the steps to, to demote this anyway and eventually remove it. So if you're dealing with it changing headers, the, the, the two things to remember are, you know, demote the headers to make sure you're using a generic column one through seven, and two, get rid of any steps that involve the change type because any, any formula that you have in Power Query that's referencing uh, a, named, um, a named header, especially for, from the early stages when you're, when you're importing the data into Power Query, that can cause an error message. So those are the main things to look out for when you've, when you've got a situation where, you're, where your headers might change. By, by not, not using those header names and by not using the, not allowing Power Query to apply the change type step, you can avoid those errors of Power Query not finding your headers. So hope you found that useful and uh, thanks for watching.